Welcome back to a new video and I hope you're all excited. This is a new series, one I've been working on for a bit and at least theorised for a bit but never really got done. This is really spreadsheeting on Excel all of the damage and all of the abilities that each tower has to really work out what's the best tower, what's the best path and what's the best cross path for that tier 5. So that's what we're going to be doing today. If you want to check the Excel spreadsheet, it will be in the description as soon as I get it looking nice and pretty. Um, apart from that, I hope you enjoy. Little quick side note, in the background we have the new map and I'm playing it on hard so you can watch that while we're going through them. If you didn't know, and I wouldn't know why you know, but if you didn't know, there are 64 different combinations of every single tower in the game. Now this goes through every path, every cross path. And uh, it was a whole lot of work to do, so please like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you want to see more of these tower breakdowns in the future. Now, a little bit of numbers that I might need to clarify is attack speed. Now, the middle path for Dark Monkey, which we're doing today, it's actually not that clear. Now, this might get a little na maths nerdy, but... It explained about the improvement so you can either look at how quick a tower shoots by how long it takes to shoot each shot or how many shots it does a second and unfortunately for me the wiki had both so that's a little bit of a problem but I think I approximated it well enough I checked the numbers that they had and I came up with my own rough scalers and I've applied them to all the cross paths or paths that use those numbers now we're done with all of the boring mooring spiel we can get on to looking at each tower and the damage that they do so let's talk about tier fives unsurprisingly the best tier five as everyone knows is the bottom path crossbow master and if you have knowledge you can get two of them so that's actually very helpful but which is the best cross path well i actually can't give you a straight answer you're gonna have to do it yourself However, I can give you the numbers behind it. We're going to look at its overall DPS per 1000 gold and its single DPS per 1000 gold. So that's how much it does to all the balloons it could even possibly kill and how many it does to one singular balloon with a lot of health. Quite unsurprisingly, 205 takes the cake and it's not even close. It's about twice more. But really, it's that pierce doing all of the damage. Now, if you can hit 21 balloons, which isn't exactly frequent you will do significantly more damage however if it is on the one balloon side or the single dps per a thousand gold again 025 takes the cake so it's really on what you want this isn't the result for just one balloon either if you go all the way up to eight balloons it's still going to be doing the exact percentage more damage than the 205 however how do all the other tier fives compare well Let's show you now. The Ultra Jug and Plasma Monkey Fan Club are very good towers, and I'll show you why. You might be thinking, naughty, how can any tower that has 0.22 DPS per 1k or 0.38 and 0.1 single DPS per 1k even be any good towers? They're awful. Well, you have to look at the abilities. And let's start with Ultra Jug. On the Ultra Jug side of things, we get 6 regular Jug projectiles that do 100 DPS or 2 single DPS each, assuming that they hit all the targets, which they won't. They might hit only a 5th or an 8th, but still, that is a ridiculous amount of DPS. Especially on maps that are closed off. So, what about PMFC? A maxed out PMFC with 20 extra monkeys on ability use will do 7001 dps or 1400 single dps now the range on these monkeys isn't great but you can obviously increase that and uh that is a lot of damage that's more single dps during the ability than three zero two five crossbow masters would do although they only have regular monkey range they do do a lot of damage and that's something to watch out and be mindful of because a lot of people don't say it's that good. I don't even say it's that good because I don't like ability based towers. But 
the ability does a lot of damage, so give it its respect. Now I think it's time to talk about some of the towers that aren't tier 5 that really stand out. So let's talk about some of the outstanding DPS towers and then we'll talk about some of the outstanding single DPS towers. And the second best DPS tower per 1000 gold goes to 420, that's the Juggernaut Cross Middle Path. It has a quite substantial 46.44 DPS per 1000 gold. And in second place we have 204 which is Sharpshooter. Now this is the Sharpshooter with increased pierce. It actually has 450 pierce. Sorry, I was going to say 40. It's actually 50. So it probably won't do that much damage in practice. But that still is a lot of DPS. And the best single DPS per 1000 gold goes to... 024 this is the sharpshooter but now with the cross path middle this does an actual quite high 9.74 now this is because its crit allows it to do 14.3 damage um on average so we just took how many times it takes to crit average that down and added it on and uh yeah it's pretty good I've always raved about the crossbow, it's so cheap and does so much damage, I always think it's a great tower to have. And it can see camo, and it has a lot of range, there's nothing to not love about it. Some surprisingly high single DPS towers per 1000 gold are 000 and 030. Now this is because obviously 000 is very cheap and does a good amount of damage for being that cheap you just wouldn't have enough space to spam them and 030 is obviously the triple darts now you can technically put something on the triple darts so if you wanted to put um extra pierce that increases the regular dps or you can get camo which i normally get because camo is useful but if you get the extra pierce it actually goes all the way up to 18.35 regular dps per a thousand gold the last tower that catches my eye a little bit is a 203 that is the crossbow with extra pierce that does 12.85 regular dps and if you wanted to know what it does if you cross path middle that actually comes to 3.12 single dps or 9.37 regular dps again if you want to check out any of these numbers go to the description the spreadsheet will be there and you can have a look. The only other thing to add is really this has no conclusion. You can pick the tower you like but these are just the numbers for you to make your most informed decision and I'll catch you in the next one. Please let me know what tower you want to see next and peace.